unconventional platformers. All right, I know it's been a while, everyone, but we are back and starting off with the highly requested Happy Wheels by Jim Bonacci over at TotalJerkFace.com. Now, I've gotten about a bajillion requests in both comments and personal messages and tweets and all that sort of good stuff to cover Happy Wheels. So I went and checked it out, and I am definitely glad that I did. Happy Wheels is I'm, a little difficult to describe, actually. I can't say it's similar to Trials or other bike riding games because you're not always on the bike. Basically, the general concept is you are some guy on some vehicle. You can be the dad on the bike with his kid. You can be this random dude on a Segway, a fat lady in a shopping cart. You can be Santa, for God's sake, in his sleigh. I mean, there's just all sorts of random variety. And you go into a bunch of user-created levels, which serve all sorts of purposes. Some of them are just art displays. Some of them are creative ways they found to kill people. Some of them are you just start the level and don't move and cool stuff happens. Some of them are challenges. I mean, there's just... It's, it's entirely user content driven. So it's almost impossible to classify because everything's different. I mean, there's everything from you just riding through cl normal obstacle course levels as the guy on the bike, which is the most common, common sort of thing, to levels where you don't even have a vehicle and your character is physically grabbing and swinging around on ropes and through obstacles and all sorts of stuff. Obviously, user-created content means there is a very robust level creator built in, and I fiddled around with it a little bit, and here's my shameless self-plug here. I played with it a little bit and came up with this after about an hour of fiddling with it. I'm sure I'm definitely going to get into this and do a lot more of it, but there's all sorts of stuff you can do in here. There's all sorts of crazy themed levels people have made from Mario to Limbo to Zelda to Pokemon. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous what has come out of this. Definitely check it out. Completely free, no cost to you over at TotalJerkFace.com. Just follow the link down in the description. For our second helping today, we have the One Button Impossible Game by Fluke Dude. Now, a lot of you might have seen a video of this go up on my channel pretty recently. If you haven't actually tried playing it yourself, I definitely recommend it. What this game is, is exactly what it looks like. I mean, it's not a whole lot to describe. You're a little red square going to the right, and there's a whole lot of obstacles that are synced to the completely awesome music in the background that you need to jump over. There's literally one button. Well, I guess there's technically a couple, but there's one button for playing, which is just A is jump. That's all you can do is jump, and it's all down to timing, trying to match to the rhythm, and getting through these ridiculously difficult obstacles. It has earned the title Impossible Game. Now, every time you die, you do start restart the level completely, as you can see going on here. So, what there is included is a checkpoint system. You can hit Y to drop a checkpoint flag down, and you, when you die, you'll respawn from there. However, you don't get credit for beating the level if you do it this way. This is just so you can practice particularly difficult parts without having to go in through the first minute of the level before you get there. Definitely a helpful addition. It's extremely difficult, it's a dollar, it's an indie game, and then levels two and three were released a little later, and they come together for another dollar. So for a total of two bucks, you can have three levels, you're probably gonna rage quit in about 10 minutes. So this is only for the stout-hearted gentlemen in the audience who want a serious fucking challenge, but in all honesty, Check this out. It's only a buck. It's definitely a lot of fun. And good luck to you. Wrapping it up today, we have The Misadventures of PB Winterbottom by The Odd Gentleman. Now, I know this looks a little strange, and it is. It is very, very strange. I'm going to do my best to describe it in a short window here. This is sort of a... It's a puzzle platformer. Sort of braidish, but not. I mean, it's it's all about manipulation of time, but it's a different way of manipulating time than Braid. What you do in Winterbottom is you control this little weird guy with a hat who loves pie. And your objective is to pick up every pie on the map, however is required. And what you have the unique ability to do is record yourself. You can hold right trigger to record Winterbottom, running, smacking, jumping, doing whatever. And when you release right trigger, a copy of Winterbottom will run through the recording you just did. Now you can, you need to use these recordings, which are physical copies of Winterbottom, like they're there, they can grab pies, they can jump, they can smack, they can hit switches, they're a physical entity. You have to use these recordings to try and get all the pies in the level, which it gets very, very difficult. I definitely rage quit this game about halfway through it, and then another couple times trying to beat all the bonus levels, which are just ridiculously hard. And of course, like any good puzzle strategy type game, as the game goes on, it will introduce more and more different types of puzzles. Like levels where your recordings all have to start at the same place. Levels where your clones will kill you if you touch them. Levels where Winterbottom himself cannot grab the pies. 
only his clones, or ones where you have to grab all the pies at a, at a certain time limit. I mean, there's all sorts of them. It's a little difficult to show the difficulty of the game or the real gameplay in the clip without giving away puzzles here, so I'm just showing you some of the time challenges because it's not about doing it, it's about doing it fast. Or with minimum clones, and I'll give you away one of them. Whatever, I gotta show something. Trust me, check it out in the Xbox Live Arcade. This game is absolutely glorious. I've played it through probably three or four times just for sheer hilarity and greatness of the game. Check this out. Head on over to Total Jerk Face and play some Happy Wheels and at least get the trial for that impossible game. If you can get past the trial of the impossible game, you have earned a slightly higher percentile of respect out of myself. And as always, keep on recommending those great games and I will see you guys next time.